First things first, we're gonna reverse follow and become living. Living! Or rather, human form, whatever. However we define it. Um, next thing, get, getting transient curse in our inventory, because we're gonna need that. Lorenitis doesn't have any unique drops, so... So concluding his story versus allowing him to stay alive, there isn't really much of a difference. One way or another. This next area does become a little bit of a pain. So we need to apply transient curse. We shouldn't have much trouble with the ghosts. At least I hope we don't. There we go. I need... We need to stock up on those transient curses. We're about to walk into a pretty significant ghost ambush here. There's two. There's three. Four, five, and a sixth. Way down there in a hard to reach place. Contraption does not move. All right, let's try to keep the camera a little calm now. So I have a stairway. Dead body. Oh, of course. That creepy ghost. A couple more transient curses. Actually, she's worth 400 souls. Let's go through the fog gate. Yeah, her uniqueness was in that she had a... Uh, a red character model. Trying to remember if this ladder leads anywhere to any particular items. I mean, it's not here for no reason, so. There's a 
just waiting in the ambush. I imagine this is here to help you deal with these, these ambushes from below. So we want to go this way. That doesn't seem to lead to anywhere in particular. Oh, got to be careful about falling off. Um, so yeah, you can go around. Climb. There we are. And then I think this is the way we were going. Yeah, and that actually deals with most of the ambushes outside. So it is actually worth your time to uh, deal with those ambushes there. What a time for Transient Curse to fail. Alright. Hold on a second, I'm going to pause quick. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. I just had a, um... My eye just all of a sudden just started flaring up with a uh, dry itchiness. So I just had to uh, go and try to ease it a little bit. Green Titanite Shard. Ah. That guy's glitching. Been running down the timer on Transient Curse, so I need to be a little careful, it's gonna just probably come and surprise me here. Curse Bite Ring. Which I'm actually used to falling on. As I remember that is um, everything there is to find. Let's get into the main room here. A couple more. Some of these ghosts do work on a 3D plan that is frankly infuriating. That's the one that was docked into the wall. There we 
to go. Another ambush. And then you basically just wait for it to be reachable by your weapon. Going, buddy. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. It's very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings. Whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the ceiling and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, Long ago, the knight Artorius traversed the abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. You are not cursed. Goodbye, transient curses. Resist curse. That's an important spell to use or learn. To contain the dark wraiths. Mark my words. The dark wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. You, Londo, Mark, they were... Hello that the key. You Londo Mark they were I mean we can we could kill Ingward, but there isn't any real game reason to do so. He doesn't drop anything unique. Which is the main reason to kill anybody in the game, is because they have unique drops. Now we're just going to gallivant around a little bit. I'm just trying to get my bearings here on where we need to go. This gets us around that broken staircase, which is otherwise not very mountable. I don't think we've gone up this way yet. humanity if you're itching for some of that oh excuse me just making a habit of looking down as we traverse to make sure I haven't missed anything that drops us back inside Rare Ring of Sacrifice. 
I don't think that's the first one of those we've picked up. Yeah, th this is probably the safest way to drop back in is through through here. So we'll come back into the main area now. I'm pretty confident we've got everything in this area now. I can um, briefly look through New Londo here and make sure. Key to the seal. Key to the floodgates of New Londo, which seal away the four kings who fell to the dark. The seal has flooded New Londo to banish the dark race and the four kings. The agonized decision was made with the realization that countless lives and the robust culture of the city would be lost. The victims now roam the ruins as ghosts. And then we picked up. The Cursed Bite Ring, one of the infamous bite rings commissioned by Sir Arstor of Kareem. Despite the dead, dreadful rumors surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset and its ability to help prevent curses. It makes it all but impossible to be cursed. Hornet Ring, one of the special rings granted to the Four Knights of Gwyn. The Hornet Ring belonged to Lord Blade, Lord's Blade's Kieran. By boosting critical attacks, this wearer can annihilate foes as Kieran's dagger laid waste to Lord Gwyn's enemies. Now the Covenant of Artorius, this ring symbolized that Artorius' covenant with the Beasts of the Abyss. This wearer, like Artorius himself, can traverse the Abyss. You need that to, um, to enter the Abyss. Which is actually why. Which is actually why I have to kill Sip first if the uh, if the goal is to do the uh, Dark Wraith path to the uh, Age of Dark ending, because you you actually cannot get into the abyss. Because in order to meet Darkstalker Cat, you have to um, be able to make it into the Abyss, and you can't make it into the Abyss without killing Sif. Whereas in all the other, or in the other path to the game, you don't, you don't need to go into the Abyss till the very end of the game. But you do eventually need to kill Sif one way or another. Composite bow, emphasizing power, requires more strength than standard bows. However, its range is shorter, making it unfit for sniping. There. Um, So we've unfloated the ruins now. So yeah, we can actually enter the ruins 
straight from L New Londo now if we wanted. But yeah, you can see I have a connection now to the Valley of the Drakes as well. That sucks. Oh, my humanity. My 10 humanity. These guys are a good source of chunks. And these guys out here are a good source of dragon scales. And this whole area just looks creepy. Now that dark hand attack is just kind of inconvenient, annoying. I'll shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. At least that can demonstrate that there are alternate paths into into the ruined part of the uh, city now. I missed my parry and his follow-up attack just finished me off. short on HP, unfortunately. Which makes these areas a little bit tricky. Oh, yeah, our sword does less damage now. That's why. And if you come down this way, you can actually bypass your way into the ruins. actually enter this backwards and we can see where our, our blood stain is nah. we're struggling
that method of entry is a bit tricksy because you end up triggering so many dark wraiths. I actually want to be in human form though because because there is a summon for this battle, an NPC summon. It's also kind of meant to be encountered later in the game, too. When you're meant to have a lot more HP. I could fit on the Ring of Favor and Protection, which would boost each by 20%, but then I would have to... I'd be stuck basically never taking it off again. Which ends up kind of sucking. second guy. It's a two-shot death. And there's another one out here. As long as you can get them to commit to some kind of hit, you can... Oh! They can potentially drop multiple chunks. It's pretty nifty. So, we want to go this way first. This is a one-time encounter, from what I remember. And yeah, we don't want to get hit by that. Fire Orb. Hit him from distance. Need light. Trying to think. This guy comes out, does his combo, and then we just wreck him. A little more successful this time through. 
Oh no, I'm gonna be out of transient curses here before too long. Um, there's a stairway up. Just the um, initial New Londo area. Which can be good for um, trying to farm more transient curses. But generally, it's pointless. They're generally not worth enough souls. But if you go up this way... And there's a couple of branches. Soul of a Brave Warrior. This think balance isn't a huge deal. You fall off, you can just climb back up. So there's a path here, I think that leads to an item. Yeah, my memory sucks. Up the stairs, I think we get an item. Yeah. amazing ember very large ember and this must be where they originally put the fire ember the large fire ember ember required for weapon ascension and the huge ember of highest quality handled by blacksmiths of Astora ascension for plus 10 standard weapon allows reinforcement to plus 15 on par with the greatest weapons of legend Probably one of the most important items in the game, really. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to trace where I'm going and what I'm doing. So, I don't think we're missing anything, but then again, I could have sworn one of these had an item in it. That's the way in from the Dark Wraith entrance. Now we just gotta have our shield ready for um... That's death. You don't wanna go that way. But I think there's a Dark Wraith or two... Guards an item or two? Yeah, there's one. That dark hand guard is quite tough to to knock to knock out, but um, you can 
usually do it and be pretty well off. Um, six cracked red eye orbs. Yeah, and there's a dark wraith back here. Who I can't backstab. Worth crap. And that feeds back into the beginning. I'm a little confused about where I'm at. That's a false wall. Be wary of soldier. This dark wraith specifically. Two hits, he's dead. So I like the fury sword, it's nice and quick. And your rewards another tight knife chunk. Seems really silly that that's just like, you know, hiding there. Gotta be careful. This is a tough little room. We need to lure everything out of here first. There's a dark wraith. More transient curse. Dark hand. Woo! Okay, make sure we've gotten everything. Titanite chunks everywhere. And the dark wraiths actually can drop Titanite slabs, but it's very, very rare. But I've, I've actually seen, seen it happen. That's another one. At the moment, I'm content with chunk drops. Very key here for invasion, or not invade. I missed an item. We'll figure that out. Oh, I think this path loops around. Skip through a lot of stuff, which is oh, we even missed his dark hands. I'm trying to think how we get. The item I saw. The 
so triggered. So yeah, it's behind somehow. That's probably it. Is it? Or is there a hidden path somewhere back here that I'm not remembering? I don't see the item anymore, so yay! Traverse! Traverse the abyss! There we go. Now maybe she'll stop trying to shoot at it. They should have given her the ability to fight curse enemies. Putting that ghost there is kind of a troll considering how broken it makes her for this battle. She'll never get down to the boss room, and you still have to deal with the uh, four kings with increased HP. Frankly, it's just terrible. Alright, here we go. Whee! And Beatrice will find her way down, and We'll get it on with these four kings. Uh, really? Please let me out. That attack sucks because there really isn't any way out of it. Really? That grab attack is crap. I hate that grab attack. At least Beatrice can hit it while it's grabbing. Thank you.
other tricks, you take much less damage when you're close. So we got one more. Got him. Four kings are dead. Bequeath Lord Shard and Humanity. Oh, those attacks suck humanity. That terrible. We can rest this bonfire, why not? share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls, but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul, the dark soul. Your ancestor claimed the dark souls and waited for fire to subside, and soon the flames did fade only dark remained. Thus began the age of men, the age of dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his age of fire and in dire fear of humans and the dark lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true lord. But the other serpent, Frapt, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. Um, yeah, we're gonna... Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still, and trust thine flesh to me. Since we're picking this ending, we might as well play the path. And he's kind of off to the side there, so you can. What is it? Place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. So he doesn't get in the way of Frampt, basically, for dialogue purposes. What is it? Ironically enough, this is the only way to get access to every covenant in the game in a playthrough. Because I think you have to place the Lord Vessel to uh, 
I suppose you can join before you get the Lord Vessel, but it, it's tricky without the ability to teleport around. He can rest and we can offer the four kings which actually offering these souls does like act as a kindling to the bonfire they do otherwise act as bonfires About to join the Dark Wraiths. Oh. oh, I over I overdid it. Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Grave Lord Nito. The Witch of Isolith and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls. Then the gate will open so that you may kill Gwyn. Are you ready? Then let us return to the Abyss and trust thine flesh to me. Trust it. And trust it. I suppose we can kindle the sucker up with our excess humanity. Covenant. <sighs> we get another dark hint. So we will offer 30 humanities. Which gives us the red eye orb, the dark armor set, and the dark sword. Undead wire. To speak now is premature. It begins with your retrieval of the Lord Vessel. And the Red Eye Orb, you get a plus one, which you only need ten humanity for. They failed. Every last one of them. They were strong, but saw not the truth. I am certain that you will prove different. I am saying. 
Okay. Actually, with a plus, with our dark hand as it is, we should. Well, first, let's uh listen to Fram to what he has to say. You sorry fool! You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. <laughs> he just leaves. Good times. We're going to test this humanity draining on... Uh... You can just you can just suck humanity out of like all the NPCs. Can we not? I guess you can't get Laurentius. Laurentius. Num 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 num. Heavens. Yeah, some of these guys are just sat in such a way that you can't actually get to them but it's a, it's a nice little it's a nice little tool but yeah that that's that's basically it for France we're committed to the the cause path now um Trying to think what will be next. Probably the painted world, just because of the, the amount of souls that we will get, that I can get from doing that. But we'll see. Till then. Now.